welcome back to my channel my name is tay if you guys are new here this channel focuses on everything luxury from luxury shopping luxury travel just an overall luxurious lifestyle i have two boutiques one a luxurious consignment boutique we buy we sell luxury secondhand items and new and i also have a women's boutique which focuses more on trendy affordable items at a decent price point so you know this channel is all about mixing the highs and lows you know if you have on a $1,200 pair of boots you can have on a $30 dress and just still be fly and luxurious you know so I will leave two discount codes in the description bar below so you guys can shop with me and tell a friend to tell a friend because listen this journey as an entrepreneur has not been easy but I never wanted to quit. That's one thing about it. Like I'm going, I'm documenting this process and I want to share this journey with you guys. So let's get into it. First of all, I just want to say, this is totally off topic, but I just want to say mental health matters. Like I have been in such a funk and I've been trying to film this video for like the last month or like the last three and a half weeks. And it just, it just didn't happen. I have not been feeling good, but I'm in a much better space. And I'm actually glad that I waited to film this video because the original video was gonna be like a fall fashion haul. But what I noticed on YouTube, a lot of people do like unboxings and they say, oh, this product is so great, you should buy it. But like, you really don't know until you wear it a couple times or at least once to see if it's even of quality. You know what I'm saying? So. All of these items I've gotten a chance to wear because I said, you know, I've been trying to film this video for the last month. So I've worn everything already and I can give my honest review, not just like, oh, this is a pretty shiny box and you should go buy it because it looks good and it's popular on Instagram. No, like I'm giving my raw opinion of some of the hottest up and coming brands, you know, on social media right now. So let's get into it. Okay. Excuse my room light, you can kind of see the reflection, but first we have these shoes from Jennifer Lee. So a little back story about this brand. I've been following them for maybe like three years, two or three years, and I've never bought anything from her. I think that her stuff is amazing. It looks like it's of quality, but it's also not like dirt cheap. So I feel like the average price on her website is about $500. So if you don't really know anything about a brand or you're not sure you don't want to just dish out $500 at least I don't like $500 is still a big deal to me and for me to just spend that kind of money on something and I don't really know what I'm getting is a little mm. so over the last two years I've kind of like watched her brand develop on Instagram and I'm like okay I feel like this lady knows what she's talking about her things look like they're of quality so I'm gonna buy them I'm finally gonna buy something so this is the packaging. I'm a big, 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 big. I'm big on packaging. Like any small business owners out there, or somebody that's like wanting to get started, I would say maybe not in the beginning, but definitely invest in packaging because it's all about presentation. So this is the box. This is how it came. So cute. Mind you, I wore these already. So when it came, it looked a lot better than this. Um, and it comes with it comes with these dust bags that are really cute and durable, you know. Dust bags matter too. That's another thing. If you are interested in creating any type of luxury brand, like handbags or shoes or clothes, you have excuse me, <laughs> you have to have nice dust bags. Like that's a part of the the thing. Like when you go to Chanel, when you go to Louis Vuitton. They just don't wrap your stuff in plastic. Like you get nice dust bags. So tip <laughs> for anyone watching. Um, so I wore these already. These are the pink faux mink um, mules. I love these shoes so much. So I've actually been eyeing these shoes for a couple months. I saw them when she released them around my birthday in August. But these just didn't give summer to me. Even though the color is like loud this still just wasn't like a summer shoot and for my birthday um i went to saint lucia which is an island in the caribbean go watch that vlog it's my first vlog so it wasn't the best but you know i'm getting there um 
what was I gonna say? I always get off track. But yes, so I didn't wanna buy these to go to St. Lucia because I'm like, these just don't give summer. Like the color is bright and vibrant, but like I said, it's just not a summer thing. So I finally bought them after watching them. I'm like, okay, I gotta buy these. Um, these shoes have been seen on many influencers such as Jada Cheese. Um, who else? Somebody, somebody else had them on, but Jada had on the blue ones. And I was like, okay, you know, me and Jada probably were about the same size. Her foot is a little bit smaller than mine, but um, when I buy things and like influencers wear them, I always compare because certain things just don't look right on everybody. Like no matter how much you like them, it just doesn't look right. So I was like, okay, they look cute on Jada's feet. Like I've been looking at the pink ones. I think I'm finally gonna pull the plug. Now these retail for $500, which I said, you know, was a little pricey but you really get what you pray pray for <laughs> you get what you pray for too but you get what you pay for um these i give these a 10 out of 10. now this is my first purchase with jennifer lee but like i will be a repeat customer um the quality is a1 first of all like this faux mink um ostrich i don't know what it is but it's just amazing one thing i don't like about um like glitter and tassels and feathers and stuff like that is you know you wear it once or you take it out the packaging and like everything is all over the place like the feathers and this stuff all over you know it's like having a dog almost but these do not shed baby like I didn't find these these anywhere like these little pieces of hair um and the inside is like I don't know if you can see it's like quilted so that gives your foot you know, you're not just, your foot just not on like some canvas that's hard and, you know, it's just an awesome shoe. Like, I love these shoes. Um, the bottom is amazing. Like, the sizing was on point. Like, I have wide feet. I'm usually a 36 and a half, a six and a half or a seven. Um, but I know Italian shoes run a little small, so I usually get a seven. But I wasn't sure with these. So I actually um, emailed her or I sent her a DM on Instagram and she responded like immediately. Her or somebody from her team, whoever, but they got back to me and they told me, you know, stick to my true, my true size and I did. So I got a 37 and these are perfect. Um, with my foot wasn't tight in it, um, you know, it's just perfect. Like these shoes are so perfect. I love the brand. Like I said, I will be shopping with her again. Right now I'm kind of on a shopping diet. But, you know, before the season is over, I might buy another pair of shoes from her. Who knows? But, um, yes, I recommend. I recommend if you guys are interested in these shoes, like I said, I know this is a really popular style right now on her website or any other pair of shoes. I'm pretty sure that you will get the same quality and the same experience. Jennifer Lee, 10 out of 10. Okay, the next pair of shoes that I have are these Jeffrey Campbell boots love the new boxes like Jeffrey Campbell is amazing I think that Jeffrey Campbell is one of my favorite shoe designers and at an affordable price point um you can go to a department store like Saks or Neiman's or Nordstrom and you can find some Jeffrey Campbell shoes for less than $300 and I think that $300 is more on the the expensive side um but you know like fall fashion is so expensive like child Thirty-five hundred for some for some shark boots. I think that's a little exaggerated, but the shark boots are expensive. You know, every girl, every fly girl in America right now want a pair of shark boots. But like, not every fly girl in America has that 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 uh, shark boot coin. Okay, let me tell you, because those boots are not cheap. Um, especially if you get them from a personal shopper, you're gonna be spending close to three thousand dollars. So, you know, you look on Farfetch or Essence. Um, any popping boot is a thousand dollars and i'm just like give me a break honey like you really know who got money when it comes to um fall fashion because they be putting that shit on <laughs> and it coughs boot what's um chin chili say boot season coughs coughs because it does but anyways um these boots don't didn't cost cost these were only like 189 dollars retail um <laughs> So let me finally show you. Like I said, I've worn all these things, so you know the unboxing won't be as exciting. But how fire are these boots? Oh my gosh, like look at the heel. It's giving Giuseppe. Yes. 
this style is really in right now when i was in vegas um i went to is that the crystal shops in aria yeah so when i was in vegas i went to some shops and i went to fendi and fendi has this same silhouette but it's more like a wedge um 2200 2300 and it's just like okay you know you get what you pay for type thing but like you can go to nordstrom and get these steve madden oh not steve madden i'm not a steve madden fan fan so that didn't come out of my mouth um how could i just respect jeffrey like that i call this group steve madden y'all like <laughs> but um no jeffrey campbell you can get these jeffrey campbell boots for less than 200 dollars. um they have a black pair with like a gold heel they have like this mauve color they have a few colors and i think i want another pair in a different colors because these are so comfortable they fit true to size these are seven um i told you i usually wear like a 36 and a half to a 37 um i have wide feet so this narrow part right here was it kind of scared me like is this going to be comfortable but um honey i wore these two nights in a row i wore them to dinner then the next night i walked around vegas in them and i was fine so so cute and i will post pictures of all these things with pictures of me wearing them and styling them um somewhere here here um this is not a try on haul by any means like i said i've already worn all these things i just want you know to give you guys some options when it comes to affordable shopping or things that are trendy right now and you know I just love talking about clothes so why not share that with the world so this next brand that I'm going to talk about I don't physically have the item because I returned it and that's another reason why I'm so glad that I waited to do this video so I could give you guys an honest opinion. Okay, let's just get to the brand. The brand is called Postal Girl. It's very popular on Instagram. Um, you've seen these dresses on influencers, celebrities. They're very popular. It's a woman-owned business. Shout out to us. Um, they're two sisters, I believe. It's two girls. I don't know if they're sisters, but they're based in the UK. And yeah i first saw these dresses on the claremont twins like last year and i was like oh this is so cute it was my style the dresses are like they kind of remind me like the lingerie dresses that you would get in the pack at the um sex store um <laughs> don't ask me how i know that um i just realized that i had makeup my this stuff what's it called lip gloss on my teeth for the whole video and i'm not redoing the video so enjoy but yeah, so they kind of remind me of like the seamless dresses that you would get from like a sex store. Um, but the material is like better, of better quality than that. Like it clings to your body. And these dresses are one size fits all. So whether you are a zero, a two, or a 14, just the same dress. And that was something that I was skeptical about because I'm like, when it comes to certain things, I don't believe in one size fits all. Like there's different body compositions. There's you know people who weigh more there's different heights like i don't know i just feel like i don't know but it worked um i feel like someone i'm a six i feel like someone who is a two could wear that dress as well like it clings to your body shape which i really liked um so that was that i'm gonna post a picture of me wearing it here i'm gonna post a picture of the you know the original dress on the model all that stuff loved it customer service was a one but there's always a but right the, the the detailing on the side of the the sleeve was not very durable when i first took out the packaging before i even tried it on one of the silver hearts fell off and i'm like okay i'm not tripping it is what it is i am a little heavy-handed maybe i was like mishandling it so i took it to my seamstress um, that's my homegirl, so she did it for free. <laughs> she put the thing back on, and that was good. A couple weeks later, I take a trip to Vegas, and I wear it. And before I even get to the function, and it wasn't even like a wild night, um, me and my homegirl, we went to Dre's. We were sitting pretty, you know, just looking cute, as we always do, looking cute and fly. And halfway throughout the night, I realized that, like, 
almost all the embellishment on my dress was gone. And I'm like, hmm, how? I can see if it was a drunk, wild night. I'm like, okay. But before I even got out of the hotel to go to Dre's, I was missing like two of the hearts. And I'm like, that's unacceptable because this dress was too much money for there to be any dysfunction. So I emailed them and I told them that, you know, I was experiencing some dress dysfunction and I expressed that, you know, my money is valuable and I just don't buy things um, for them not to work the way that I want them to work. And they were very nice. They offered me a full refund for the dress and I sure did send it back because, first of all, this great customer service. A1 customer service. And listen, if you run a business of any sort, make sure your customer service is A1. Because even though I didn't have the best experience with that particular dress, I will buy from them again. Maybe it was just that style or maybe it was just that dress that was defective. But because the brand is obviously cute, it's trendy, and the customer service was on point, they could get my money again any day, but I would need them coins back from that um, dysfunctional dress y'all sent me. <laughs> and they said they would reimburse me for shipping. And if you guys, if you shop a lot or if you own a business or have any knowledge about shipping, you know that shipping to other countries is freaking expensive. It is so expensive. Like when I buy things from my, um, my suppliers, like my buyers, um, when I source things for my business, and let's say I want to want to get it from like Italy or somewhere like that on the very low end it's like 20 to 30 dollars and that's basically them giving me like free shipping that's equivalent to free shipping you know from them but usually that stuff costs a lot so I paid 115 dollars of my own hard-earned coins to send that dress back granted they're going to reimburse me for that but it's just like it was a lot like I really didn't have the best experience with poster girl because one the dress the dress was cute don't get me wrong it fit great but the stones fell off and then I have to pay over a hundred dollars to ship it back to you there's no prepaid return label it's just certain things like that and I think that like when people make these you know oh look what I bought videos on YouTube you need to include details like that because you are the influence most of the time people come to YouTube and they get you know they want to basically get like have a virtual stylist like okay i'm gonna buy this and they're just not they don't know what they're getting so i'm giving you guys the real raw and uncut um i personally did not have the best experience with poster girl but i feel like the good outweighed the bad like i said it's a very popular brand on instagram if you look on instagram tiktok facebook myspace whatever everybody and their mom got on a poster girl dress um, my dress was from the Autumn Winter 2021 collection, which is their new collection. And I bought the dress because I really wanted to buy something from this brand, but it was kind of becoming oversaturated. Like everybody had on that same like signature dress, but this one was new and it was fly. I was just like, okay, I haven't seen anybody in this dress. So I'm gonna see what, you know, what's to it. But like I said, I still recommend, um, the brand the customer service really saved their ass because <laughs> y'all why is this like this like why am i like this i can't do anything right um but yeah their customer service was 10 out of 10 um i'm satisfied like i said i would shop with them again but i just had to share my experience with that now this next item has been on my wish list for about two years now. This is an archive item. The mini Fendi baguette. Oh my gosh, like you guys, as I develop my YouTube channel and my brand, you guys will really understand my love for fashion. Like my heart just sunk into my chest when I, <laughs> when I saw this and I'm not even exaggerating like, so cute um so this is a mini fendi baguette it is an archive vintage item don't quote me on the year i want to say early 2000s but this was really hot on the resale market um last year or two years ago 
and I always wanted one, but I, this barely fits anything. I put my cards in here and like a hundred dollar bill and that's it. That's, and some lip gloss, that's it. My phone would barely fit. Luckily, I have a new phone now. I have the iPhone mini, which if I stuffed it in there, then it would fit. But I don't want to like distort the shape of the bag or anything because it is an older bag. And you know, after a while, bags start to lose their shape and everything. So I didn't even put my phone in there, but for something that won't even hold my phone, a piece of gum and like other things, my AirPods case and all that, I was not trying to pay $2,000 for it. <laughs> yeah, that's how much it was going for on the resale market last year and the year before because it was so popular. I believe that Kourtney Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, one of the people have wore it. And, um, you know, once the Kardashians touch anything, the price of resale just goes up. That's why I love and I hate it because I am a consumer, but I'm also a business owner. So I really study um, certain influencers, mainly the Kardashians, because um, who was that? Kendall or Kylie? I don't even know the people's names, but um, one of the girls, <laughs> they wore um, the Dior monogram bikini or like the fanny pack like back in 2018. Now, if you are a buyer of any sort or if you specialize in vintage archive items, you know that you cannot find that. And if you do, it's a blessing. Like I've reached out to my plug in Tokyo. Um, I have people that I work with in Italy and these items are hard to come by. And when I do come by them, they're really, really expensive. So the influence is real, but I sell that to say that this, because it was so popular and it was worn by like celebrities and influencers, this little bag here that's like maybe five inches wide and three inches long was um, going for an average of $2,000. Actually, when I bought this um, a day or two before, I saw this bag on a, a website and they wanted like $1,500 for it. And then literally like the next day or two, I saw this and it was like $396 total with shipping tax and all that. I'm like, this is a steal. I gotta have it. So I bought it and I feel so accomplished. Like this is why I started my business because I would just lay in bed and be on like Poshmark and like the real real and I would find like some good finds and then it would just make me make me feel so good because I'm like I did that. Like I I found this. Nobody else has this, you know? And I don't know. That's kind of like where my style comes from as well. You know your style evolves after time and I feel like my big girl style was influenced by archive and vintage designer fashion. So that's a little backstory about how I started my business. I mentioned that in my, um, why I started my business video. So I don't need to go into that, that sob story, but yeah. So this bag, like I said, I got it for $396. Um, and I love it. It's so cute. If I can find some other colors, I'm definitely copping them. Um, and I also probably would need to find some of these for my business because I feel like mini bags are in right now and it's not going nowhere. Like, honestly, like Bottega and all these high fashion designers, they're selling mini bags for a higher price than the, the tote bag. I saw a mini bag on Essence that was from Bottega and they wanted like 3,500 for it, but the tote bag was 15 something. I'm like, what girl, give me the tote. <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? But, um, yeah, so that was one of my finds. And I really, 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 really want to give you guys this tip when it comes to fashion. Okay, you ready? All right. So, please invest in your closets. I'm going to say that again. Please invest in your closets. This little bag here, I paid roughly around $400 for it. Okay, good for me. Let's say Kendall Jenner wears this bag or, you know, she wears it out or Fendi redoes this collection and, you know, you're going down the runway in it. I'm sorry, y'all, excuse me. Somebody was texting me. <laughs> but if you, you know, like Kendall Jenner or somebody wears this or you see it on the runway, your bag that is like 20 years old 
automatically shoots up in value automatically like it it just does i can't even put it into words like how valuable investing in your closet is because even though it's not like buying a house or you know any other asset but it's important so invest in your closet you know you could be down bad on your luck one day you don't know how you're gonna eat <laughs> you don't know how you know you're going to pay rent or the repo man might be outside to come get that car from you that you ain't paid in three months and you're like dang 10 years ago i bought this fendi bag and now you know the resale value is about two thousand dollars that's a hell of a profit you know that's a little extreme i don't think that you know you can save your house from going into foreclosure or anything like that with just one piece one item like you know but i'm just saying just invest in your closet because it is worth it okay last but not least i'm going to tell you guys about this shirt because i have it on like how cute is this like i just feel like a bad bitch when i wear this like i'm walking in you see the feathers you see the tassel you see the cleavage like it's me you know that's how i feel in this shirt it's me but this shirt is from a small brand in new york city i believe it's called bandy i will post their social media information somewhere here and also in the description box um so a little about this brand these shirts that this brand makes they are um reworked shirts so i believe that they take the shirt and they rework it and they like gather it it kind of almost looks like a corset they gather it and then they add like all these different materials like these feathers are ostrich feathers like no fugazi no party city tassel like no this is the real deal these are ostrich feathers yes Ugh, so passionate about this man and then you have the tassels yes i have on my skin leggings <laughs> you have the tassels um that are also amazing and just like i was saying earlier about the jennifer lee shoes like when you buy things like this that have like feathers and tassels and glitter and stuff like that when you take it off or when you put it on you don't want to see see it everywhere like these things are expensive this shirt that i bought from him is 400 dollars, and i feel like it's worth every penny so if i buy something for 400 dollars, when i take it out the packaging or if i wear it once i don't want to see the ostrich feathers on my floor because i feel like my investment is on the floor now. I'm not wearing it. You know what I'm saying? So another reason why I say to invest in your closet, because if you want this look, yeah, you can go and get it for cheap. But like, is it going to last? Is it going to give the same effect? Is it going to lay on your body the way you want it to? You know, all that matters when it comes to fashion and, you know, your clothes. Um, so back to this brand. These are like reworked shirts. This one is Bob Marley. I believe the shirts are one of one you know if you were to buy this shirt or any other shirt you probably wouldn't see anybody else wearing it um i believe he probably made two of these shirts because i saw someone else on his instagram that he posted that had on the same shirt but it's just me and you boo just me and you with this shirt nobody else so that's another thing about um supporting smaller brands a lot of them don't make things in larger quantities so you know it's kind of a little more exclusive um, I will post the information to buy this. Well, I can't buy this shirt because it's custom. But you can support this brand. It's a black-owned brand, I believe. Yeah, it's a black-owned brand. Um, the only thing, the only complaint I have about this brand is they don't have a website. And I hate, I hate, hate, hate having to DM somebody to give them my money. You know what I'm saying? I think it's tacky. Um, just like, you know hairstyles to like dm to book an appointment why why don't you have booking information it grinds my gears but it is what it is i believe that um you know they're working on getting a website but for now you can dm them um and sometimes he'll post on his story like for sale and you can say oh i want to um buy this and i think he does like zelle and venmo so it's no shady stuff that's another thing that i was kind of skeptical skeptical about <laughs> i can't talk skeptical about buying because it's like i don't even know you you don't have a, a site 
where something go wrong, my bank are just giving the money back. If it's a fraud, it's a, if it's a fraudulent transaction and I'm just selling somebody some money. But I really wanted this shirt, so I took a chance. I was like, $500, if he run off with my money, I'm just gonna be $400 in the hole. It is what it is. I'm, I'm taking a risk for this shirt. So yes, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Shop black owned brands, period, because we are up and coming black women specifically are some of the fastest growing entrepreneurs and we just need all the love and support so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed my finds as much as i enjoy them and i look forward to sharing more content with you guys more fashion more um entrepreneurship situations like i said i'm new to this life i'm still going um going on this journey i'm probably like a year and a half in now so i love it i wouldn't trade it for the world it's hard i cry sometimes you know i doubt myself sometimes but overall i wouldn't trade this for anybody's job so thank you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't liked this video leave me some comments leave me some comments about like you know what kind of videos you want to see from me um or you know fashion related or questions about my business or about my personal life like i'm just so ready to share this part of me with youtube and everyone else also while you're at it follow me on social media my personal instagram is at tay ballerina i believe with two a's i'll post it somewhere on the screen also follow both of my boutiques the nm luxury shop and the nm boutique I have some really good things coming for both boutiques. Like, I'm so excited. I'm in pre um, let me shut up. I'm not going to tell y'all just now. But, um, stay tuned.